So put your entire bowl in that. Explain to me a little bit about how you guys contributed to building this micro skills center. Well, about two and a half to three years ago, uh, we, along with the Toronto West Club, were talking about an opportunity to do something serious around uh, supporting youth in the community. And we talked about building a legacy project. And what I mean by that is uh, something uh, <laughs> that's substantial in commitment. And we ended up determining that we would put uh, collectively the two clubs up to $300,000 to go into some type of, of youth program and ultimately MicroSkills was the program we selected. So who would like to start? I'm really passionate about working with young people and I'm really concerned about some of the challenges that young people face, such as unemployment, um, gang violence, um, you know, a, a lack of education attainment or going on to post-secondary or young people just not having goals or not knowing how to uh, network with others and, and, and build lead, um, mentors uh, to support their growth. MicroSkills Youth Center have multiple programs. So we provide programs for youth, uh, newcomer youth, so settlement programs to help newcomer youth with their settlement process. We have education support programs where we provide homework clubs for youth um, in five different um, schools plus at our youth center. We also have leadership program and today you'll see one of our leadership group or youth advisory group um, and they're actually doing a program now about gender-based violence so you'll be able to see them today. You'll also be able to see your girls club and our girls club is about girls empowerment and you know supporting young girls to have a strong self self, self identity um, and you'll also see one of our arts program we also have um, education uh, program we have employment program our employment programs covers uh, skill development plus training programs we have our youth and retail program a youth and uh, supply chain program that support young people to get employment What's your favorite part of coming? Um, getting to know, um, like starting new things that, and finding out about more about um, people joining this group. Um, everyone's actually really amazing and it's really nice to meet more people that join in as well. Talk about what you guys are cooking today. Okay, so today what are we making is uh, tacos, uh, but we use uh, turkey, halal turkey, because the majority of the youth don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. So, and also we're making a smoothie and uh, also spinach salad on the side. That sounds delicious. Where do you guys get the recipes from? Recipe, we usually we make, uh, we do it online. We search online and also we ask the youth what you're interested in eating and we put together the recipe with them. So Jason, what's your favorite part about coming here? I guess it's like the open space and how interconnected we all are mm -hmm. and how it's easy to share amongst each other. Andre, where do you get your ideas from in this class? Oh, I mean, uh, experience, you know, living uh, in Toronto, um, being an artist myself, uh, we just develop uh, these type of workshops so that uh, these kids can get a better grasp of the technology as well as their own artistic uh, creativity. What made you want to do it? It's a part of my community, it's a part, piece of my heart because when I was their age, I was, I was coming to these type of programs and, and, and these type of programs helped me discover my, my own potential and what I wanted to do with my life, you know, professionally. So, how can you help build a better future? MicroSkills is always looking for new volunteers to be a part of the team. So, if you want to join, visit www.microskills.ca.